turnaround. But one thing I do know, we will be fired up all right, for our home, <laughs> our home opener at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium, damn it. We ready to go. <laughs> With that said, I'm all ears. Let's go first to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, B. Uh, hope GHA is paying you for that. Um, uh, were you surprised at, at how often the Cardinals blitzed you uh, yesterday and just wondering how you thought you guys handled that, and Patrick in particular? No, not surprised. Uh, we, we've, we've known that to be, you know, one of the things that they had planned on doing. Obviously, we saw a lot of it on film. But uh, I thought our guys had a heck of a job of handling the situation. Our guys remained poised under pressure. Pat did a great job of just managing and just processing the information. And our guys just just played. And they did a great job of handling it and went out and executed. Let's go next to Jesse Newell. Go ahead, Jesse. Hey, Eric. Uh, you guys ran a lot of two and three tight end sets yesterday. I just wondered in layman's terms, what does that do for you guys when you're able to put multiple tight ends on the field? Well, each and every week we go into a game plan just trying to create the best matchups available. And so one thing that we always try and do is take advantage of certain things that we may see on tape. Uh, we thought that we can create some matchup issues. Also, too, we thought we can create a few things uh, in a run game as well. So, you know, regardless of what personnel is on the field, we just want to make sure each and every week we're giving our guys the best opportunity to be successful. So that's more about it than anything. Let's go next to Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Aaron. Hey, appreciate the time here, Eric. I, I got a question about your rookie running back. What would you evaluate about his, uh, his first game in, in the league? Uh, saw 12 carries. Obviously, you guys uh, want to see something from him there. Uh, more than anything, I thought he did a good job of just playing hard. I thought he was on point with his footwork, his aiming points. But there's also a little few things that we need to just continue working on, you know. But one thing I'll share with each and every rookie for the first time is anybody can do anything once, you know. It's all about making sure that you can put consistent behavior on on tape week to week in and week out. So uh, the biggest thing now is just making sure that uh, he gets in the building, he takes care of his body and understand how to get ready for a Thursday night game. And that's just mentally understanding that he has to take work home. He has to take physically take care of his body. And that's just not for him. It's, it's for all of our young guys. And just making sure that he'll be physically ready and mentally ready, you know, for this next opponent. Let's go next to Matt McMullen. Good, Matt. Hey, Coach, uh, speaking of Isaiah, it looked like after his touchdown, Patrick went down and got the football for him. And I'm just wondering, as a former player, for the star quarterback to have the wherewithal to go get the football for the rookie running back so he doesn't lose it, how important was that? And what's that say about Patrick? It just goes to show you, first of all, Patrick is always looking out for everybody. Uh, he's the ultimate team player. So for Pat to just to have the wherewithal of, hey, you know what, I got to get this ball for this kid. <laughs> this is his first touchdown. It just goes to show you where his head is because he's always thinking about others. So, but it doesn't shock nor surprise me, but uh, I'm glad that he did do it. That way now uh, Isaiah will have a memory for the rest of his life. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, B, uh, we were talking about the rookie running back, but uh, how thrilled were you see, to see Clyde get off the, to the start that, that he was able to? I know that uh, you know, there have been some things in Kansas City about whether or not the Chiefs should have taken him in the first round. There's a lot of noise and just seeing him kind of get through that. Well, I thought, first of all, I thought just what you said, I thought Clyde did a heck of a job of starting the game off. Uh, I thought our entire offense came off firing on, on all cylinders. Those guys came out fast. They came out with some, some energy, some excitement. Uh, they just created a presence that, hey, we're going to stay on the attack. And I love the, what we were bringing to the table. And I thought the run game was going. I thought Clyde did some great things in the pass game, just like the rest of the backs. I thought Jarek did some great things. Isaiah, obviously, uh, Burton stepping in and doing his stuff. Uh, but the thing about it, it was a great team victory because you know why? The thing about it, we remained accountable to one another. How do we remain accountable to, to one another? 
we play hard, we play fast, and we have a sense of urgency and a sense of purpose in everything that we do. And that's why we came away with that victory. Now, as much as it was a, a, a good win for us, yeah, it was shortly <laughs> shortly celebrated. We were thinking about the next opponent as soon as the clock uh, hit the final buzzer. So it's it's time to move on and, and it's time to think about them charges now. We've got four more. We'll go right down the line, starting with Harold Kuntz. Go ahead, Harold. Eric, I was actually just about to ask you about the Chargers defense. What's the differences you see between last year and this year with them? Because I know – and how much did you kind of install some game plan before this game, knowing that you start the season with, with, two, with two games in essentially five days? Uh, we've been preparing for this game for a long time. Obviously, we've had the entire offseason to think about this. We've had all training camp. And then we had those additional practices between training camp leading up uh, after that last preseason game leading up to, uh, to the first game. So we've been uh, watching them. We've been preparing for them. So one thing I will say, uh, I hate to say this, but I guess I got to welcome uh, Mr. Khalil Mack back to the AFC West. Uh, I really don't like saying that and, and, and inviting him back, but <laughs> he's a heck of a player. Uh, that defense, they're playing some good ball. Obviously, Mr. Bosa's out there. You know, they got some guys now that have been in that defense in the system now for a couple of years. These guys are going to play hard. They put on a good uh, performance yesterday or last night uh, against the Chargers. I mean, uh, against the Raiders. So we're not expecting any, anything different. These guys are going to come out and, and give us our best, give us our best. And we just need to make sure that we're on top of our game when it's all said and done with. Let's go next to Sarin Petro. Go ahead, Sarin. Uh, and Brad, I'll have a quick follow-up after this, if I could. Uh, you mentioned Bosa and, and Mac. Just when you have two guys that, that are that good on, on both sides, just what, what are, you know, for, for fans, you know, kind of the layman term, I think is what Jesse yeah. used it earlier. Uh, what, mm -hmm. what difficulties does that present for you guys on offense? And then, Brad, I, I'll have a follow-up. Well, first and foremost, both of those guys do a great job of getting after the quarterback. They also do a hell of a job of playing the run. So, one thing we got to do, we got to make sure that we're, we're protecting our quarterback and keeping him upright. So obviously, there's no secret. We got to take care of the edges. <laughs> so we got to do a great job of chipping and making sure that those guys aren't having an impact on the game plan. But, you know, there's a number of other guys out there that are doing a hell of a job that we got to be accountable for. They got some second level guys uh, in that back end that are playing some good ball. Obviously, Mr. Derwin James is out there. We know exactly what he can bring to the table and all the things that he can do. So it's going to be a fun game. I'm excited about this game because, first of all, it's a short week. So there's really not a lot of stuff that we can create to say, hey, we're going to go and do this and, and just say we're going to be exceptional at it. Now, this is one of those games you got to ball up your knuckles. Hey, we're going out there, putting our hand in the dirt, and made the best team win. Uh, and then the other one, uh, the cameras caught, I don't know if you know, on your coach's tape, if you saw this, if you get any of the TV, but they caught Patrick Mahomes holding up four fingers when he had four touchdowns and saying four. And it was kind of like a, you know, we, we know you, you probably named a lot of fantasy football teams when you dubbed him a couple of years ago, a competitive prick. Uh, I know you named some teams in my fantasy leagues, uh, with, with, with that, uh, phrasing of him, but has he, is he. Is it go even beyond that? Like we've likened him, I think, in conversations to, to Michael Jordan that he finds something where he's, he's disrespecting himself. Like, right? Jordan would find those things. Is, is Patrick like that as well? Or was there some jawing going on that maybe we didn't see that, that he was uh, barking back at some guys with that? Uh, that? That's just Pat. That's just who he is. And just kind of what you said, there's always that behind the scenes deal where he's going to create a moment that's going to keep him fired up and, and energized about each and every opportunity that, that there is to put something great on tape. So regardless of what that is, I'm glad that he's on our side. Okay. And the kid is a tremendous football player. I love the energy and the excitement that he brings. And on top of that, he's just, he's the ultimate competitor, you know, and just looking forward to, to watching him do work. <laughs> From here on out. Let's go next to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Coach. You know, as, as like Sam alluded to at the beginning, you saw a, a lot of blitzing on Sunday, and that's something that Patrick's done well against that in his career. 
How intrigued are you still to see the changes that you've made this season against teams that are going to be maybe doing more of those two high looks and and certainly the things that the Chargers have done against you in the past because they've had some good good runs at you. Well, you, we've we've had an opportunity this off season to study every obviously opponent that we know that we're going to face, especially our our division opponents, and we know exactly what they're going to do. Obviously, there's going to be a few more uh, wrinkles that's going to be uh, added to this game plan. Uh, because they are playing against us. But, you know, the thing is, we always want to address things that we need to continue to work on. You know, the things that we want to make sure of is just making sure that we can get the ball out clean. If teams want to blitz us, our job is to make sure that we have all the answers and we make them pay. If they want to play shell coverage and drop everything back, you know, in the coverage, we got to make sure that our quarterback is doing a great job of finding everything underneath. And then on top of that, you know, and I think the thing that we're not really discussing here is we have to prove to everyone that we can run the football. I thought our guys did a heck of a job of doing that. And it's not necessarily just the backs. The O-line did a hell of a job up front. 